So I introduced to you guys Hulk Smash. Her. Well guys, I think we've finally done a thing. I think we've got a crusher, or what I hope is gonna be a crusher. We're gonna find out here in just a minute. We've done a bunch of stuff since you guys have seen it last, so let me catch you guys up real quick, and then we're gonna lift this lid up and see what it does. So yeah, beyond the green paint that you see right off the bat, we've also got a wall stuck back there to push cars up against and a winch, but we'll cover that here more in just a second. But beyond that, we have done a bunch more welding. We're sitting here with over 150 pounds of welding rod in this thing. Also done three full spools of wire and see that green oxygen bottle right there? We've done used up eight of those as well and nearly one full bottle of propane. So a lot of cutting, a lot of welding, a lot of work to get this thing done. But it's finally together now. You guys can see the back wall back here that we got stuck on. Let me show you a little bit more about that and how that went on. All right, so we've been mostly just doing a little bit of cutting and welding, nothing very exciting, but uh, I thought this might be kind of fun to watch. Just stand up this back wall plate here. We'll see what happens. Oh, hell yeah, like we knew what we were doing. So before we go any farther, I want to have a second here just to say thank you to everybody involved to help make this little project of mine come together. So the first two people that I want to give a shout out to on that is Terry and Kenny Pfeiffer. This is their yard where we're actually setting this up and Terry's in the loader right now and he was a key point of this whole thing coming together because I couldn't have done it without him. There's no way I could move any of this big heavy iron by myself and or even with other help without him and the loader and all that stuff so huge shout out there also Corey, like you see right here is back here welding and he was helping out a bunch on a lot of this stuff you've seen him in the first video helping out on stuff and also connor connor did a ton of work a ton of welding on this thing he put in more time than anybody else other than me on this project so huge shout out to connor on that and one of my friends, Kenny O'Neill, also did some machine work for us. He turned down these pins and everything back here at the back so we'd be able to have this whole thing hinged together and come to play and work. The last person to give a shout out to is Larry Tatro. He brought out his bucket truck and he stuck the snatch block and the cable all the way up to the top of this mess for us. If it wasn't for him, I don't know how we would have got that up there exactly. So big shout out there as well. Out here messing around with the crusher and this sweet old Dodge pickup just came in. They're getting ready to move it some more here, so I'll get you some video of it, but uh, I just thought it was badass. It's four-wheel drive, and it's like a five-ton four-wheel drive record truck, so you guys know I'm all about record trucks. And that thing is sweet. Let me flip this around and get you a little bit better view while they're pushing it out of the way. Sorry, I got sidetracked back to what we got accomplished on the crusher. Then back here at the back, we have got our winch mounted on here and we've got everything kind of rigged up here to where we can pick up this lid. We had to put some bracing in across here. We got our big old winch there mounted. Found this winch over on a truck across the yard over here. Then to power the winch, we decided to go hydraulically so we have a little better control over it. So we're powering the pump, we're sucking out of that tank right there. We're going through that valve over here and then straight on over to the winch. The winch has got a hydraulic motor on it now and that's what we're using to pick this thing up. So from the winch, we're running the cable through a pulley here that's doing a direct pull straight up to a snatch block way up there. And then our cable comes down here to the top of our lid. Got Corey over here finishing up some paint. What do you think, Corey? Is it gonna work? I don't know, we built this ourselves. No confidence? <laughs> it doesn't smash, but you just add more weight. <laughs> I'm excited to see what this thing's gonna do. It should have some carnage one way or another. So I guess the thing will be is, what is the carnage, I guess? Does it fall apart? Does it blow into a million pieces? Do we actually crush a car? So. I guess it's time to go find Terry with the loader and stick something in there and see what it's gonna do. 
I've got to tell you, it feels really good to watch that lid go up for the first time. Everything is working, the hinges aren't breaking off, and the winch is picking it up. We had some naysayers saying that we didn't have enough winch. We had naysayers saying the hinges would break right off the bat. And to watch the lid go up and see it actually not breaking feels pretty good. Now don't get me wrong, this first test was not without its own problems and stuff to deal with. You can see here how slow the lid is going up and that is due to needing to switch around some pulleys on our motor and our winch scenario there so that we can get a little better ratio there and get a little more speed out of it. Beyond that, we also had a binding issue in the hinge area down here at the bottom. So my plan was to actually lift this thing up to where it basically had hardly any weight on the winch and it was just kind of balancing on the hinge. And then you'd be able to pull the dog out of the winch and release it and let her fall. Well, with that binding and that hinge right there, we were not able to do that. So we actually had to take the loader and push up against it a little bit to be able to get the dog out of the winch. Easy enough problems to deal with, and I would say our first test went smashingly. So I didn't notice it in person, but after watching the videos over again that I shot of this first drop here, I did notice something that I thought needed to still be addressed. And you can see the tower going up where the snatch block is and the lid is up against right now. There's a strut coming off the back of it. As this lid falls, it moves around quite a bit. So what we decided to do was add one more brace in there and I think now we're pretty well good to go. So I introduced to you guys Hulk Smash. Her. So is that impressive or what? Look at how flat this thing is. Just to give you guys an idea, the opening right now on the Smasher is about 30 inches. So we got about 20 inches at the highest point on that car. I can walk over here and put it in perspective for you on this other one. Let me stand here by this thing and give you a little better idea exactly. That's about 5 inches or 6 inches below my knee on that corner right there. Now we dropped the lid a little bit crooked. I guess we didn't drop the lid crooked. We didn't have the car centered in there exactly, realizing that now. So we could put them in there centered and they would get crushed evenly a little bit more so. But regardless, I mean, this thing is flat. So even though I completely underestimated how much work this project was going to be, I could not be happier with it. It turned out great and I learned a lot from it. And ultimately in the end, I think that should be the point of every build is to be able to learn a little something from it and to be able to create something new and exciting that uh, keeps motivating me and driving me forward and hopefully motivates some of you guys to do something that you may or may not have even been dreaming about before. So I guess with that, that's about all I got for you guys on today's video. And for everyone that stuck around to the end, I saved what I think is the best video for last. So stick around, check that out. And if you haven't yet, please think about subscribing to the channel. And if you think I've earned it, give me that thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot when you do that. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.